Welcome to Honors Geometry Lesson 5.1, where we talk about mid-segments of triangles. So, you go ahead and ask me, well, what's a mid-segment of a triangle? No, kitty, that's not the correct answer. That's not the correct answer, kitty. Anyway, I did not hear you guys say what's a mid-segment. Okay, Matt, I heard you say it. Time for somebody to go bye-bye. Say goodbye, kitty. <laughs> All right, anyway, what is a mid-segment? Let's go ahead and move on and find out. Okay, I've got a nice, beautiful triangle written right here. A mid-segment is a segment that connects the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. That is what a mid-segment is. So, in order for things to be mid-segments here, we definitely need to have uh, some things here telling you that X is a midpoint so if I tick those off with single tick marks I'm gonna go over here and double tick mark these because I don't know if BX and BY are congruent alright I'm telling you that X is the midpoint and Y is the midpoint that makes segment XY a midsegment Okay, and if I had these triple tick marked off, then you could tell me that XZ would then also be a mis a mid segment, and I can't write real well with this stupid thing. And YZ someday I'll have to bring this in and show you what it is is also now a mid-segment. It joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. So, usually what we learn each time I do a lesson like this, first we talk about the definition of something. And then we talk about a possible theorem with that, and then we apply that theorem. So, I, guess, I bet there's going to be a theorem coming in. And guess what it's called? That's right, it's called the mid-segment theorem. The mid-segment of a triangle is parallel to the third side and half as long as that side. So in the diagram here, you might want to pause that so you can write it down. Yeah, I know. I have ER congruent to RD and I have ES congruent to SF. So R and S are midpoints. So that makes R S a uh, mid-segment. That mid-segment R S is parallel to the third side that it does not intersect of the triangle D F, and the mid-segment theorem also says that R S that length is half of DF. That's what the mid segment theorem says, those two things. Alright, let's go ahead and put this into practice. Again, G is the midpoint of MN, H is the midpoint of MO, HG is a mid segment. So, what is HG parallel to? It is parallel to, wow, I thought I had a hidden surprise there, and instead I got to write it in. It is congruent to ON. No, it's not congruent, you silly goose. It's parallel. Yes, HG parallel to ON. Now, how about the equation? HG, and I think you should probably write it out like this first before you try to replace or substitute anything in half of ON. So how big is HG in the picture? 3x and half of how big is ON? 36. 
So 3x equals 18. And look at that. I even had part of it written down that I hadn't cleared off before. X is going to equal 6. All right, let's move on. Try another example. RS is mid segment of triangle K, JKL. Find the values of the variables. Okay? If you know that uh, RS is mid segment, you should know that KS is congruent to SL because S is going to be a midpoint. So your Y equation. 3y plus 1 equals 25. Your x equation, r is the midpoint, so kr is congruent to rj. 4x equals 20. x equals 5. Subtract 1, divide by 3, y equals 8. And then how about your z equation? Okay, according to the mid segment theorem, I just dropped my uh, pen. According to the mid segment theorem, RS equals half of JL. Substitute in 15 equals half of Z. Multiply both sides by 2. 30 equals Z. Let's go ahead and look at one more example. Okay. You're given that that's a mid segment, so let's let's put. Do we need letters on that? I don't think so. 32 is half of the third side. 3x plus 1. Multiply both sides by 2. 6x equals 3x plus 1. Now, if you don't understand what I just did there, multiply both sides by 2. Ask me in class. Subtract 1 from both sides. Divide both sides by 3. 21 equals x. And the symmetric property says x equals 21. This does conclude Honors Geometry Lesson 5.1 on mid-segments. Deuces.